More than one million men in the U.S. will be tested this year for prostate cancer. But now there's evidence that the routine test could have some deadly consequences. Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece has more. And Shannon, this could be a real game changer. Eva, this is some troubling stuff here. We're talking about a, pros a prostate biopsy. That's a test done when someone is suspected of having a tumor in their prostate. Now, it's typically seen as this benign routine test. There's about a million of them done a year in the U.S. But the problem here is that the number of infections from these tests have increased fourfold since 1996. So here's some numbers for you. One in 25 men are hospitalized after having one of these biopsies. That's 40,000 men a U.S. in the year, and almost one in 1,000 will die within a month of an infection from this procedure. And now the reason for all these infections is an increase in these so-called superbugs. These are germs that have developed resistance to antibiotics. Drug makers, they haven't been developing any new treatments to fight these drug-resistant infections, so there's really no good medicines for people out there. Now, I talked to the head of surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. His name's Dr. Peter Scardino about this trend, and he says that doctors really should stop doing so many of these tests. I think there are many unnecessary biopsies being done because doctors are not waiting to check and see if the PSA is really persistently elevated. They're, they're, they have too low a threshold for biopsying for small changes in PSA. Yes, I think we could be more cautious and do fewer biopsies, and we should, particularly in light of this high risk of serious infections. And he said that doctors may be doing these because of malpractice fears, afraid they're going to miss a patient who has cancer. They also get paid per procedure, and these can cost up to $1,400. So bottom line, uh, Dr. Scardino and others say if you're told you need a biopsy, consider getting a second opinion or see if you should wait and find out if your PSA, these levels that uh, are a sign of cancer, will go down on their own, Scarlett. All right, good to know. Thank you so much, Shannon.